G'day Shedders. We've got another jam-packed postcard for you this month, so let's get started. I'm calling this one Our Shed Special. We've been traveling the Long Paddock, courtesy of the Cobb Highway. Now the Long Paddock is an historic web of tracks and trails from Mulcanya to Echuca, linking stock breeding areas of inland New South Wales and Queensland into Victoria. In the mid-1800s, as the Victorian gold fields flourished, there was a need for fresh meat, which sent stock prices soaring. Today, the stock route is celebrated by various sculptures and plaques with interesting historic information. One of the many places of interest along the way and our first shed is the Shearing Shed, part of the Shear Outback Exhibition in Hay, New South Wales. Now here's some statistics for you. Normally it takes a professional shearer three minutes to shear one sheep. They're expected to shear 160 sheep in an eight hour day. The shearer's heart rates were constantly at 155 beats per minute. Now, if those stats are correct, that would make shearing one of the world's toughest jobs. On to our next shed, the Deniliquent Men's Shed. We speak to the president, John Tainch. The Deniliquent Men's Shed offers a lot to people in our district. It is really quite remarkable. How, what our shed offers um, to put retired men of many ages, all ages. I think the other nice thing about it is not only are we retired and have had various backgrounds in, in working life, uh, whether in business or work, working for people, but we offer each other other skills. One of the fellows are making um, with wrought iron and steel uh, articles of, of art which will sell at the market coming up. And another uh, our members here who just comes along to enjoy himself. He reads, uh, goes through all that wonderful library of magazines we have, how to do things. I mean, he must be terribly skilled now with what he's read, I'd say, over, the, over, these, over the ensuing months. And of course, the major, uh, my major item here is, is, the, is the Titanic. It's quite remarkable, actually, the detail and the fine, fiddly, uh, small finger type of, of, uh, of work that he's had to, to put into it. Uh, they decided to, to restore the, the World War uh, German gun that was in the park and the, and the mortar, World War I mortar, the German mortar. Now the boys making parts for it on the lathe and repairing it um, and at the moment the mortar is, is standing in the, in the foyer of the RSL club and the gun which comes out on, on the trailer uh, on Anzac Day is stored away and now it's, it's, a, uh, it's, it's, it's a great thing for, for us here at the Menchie to see a lot of these old things restored. Uh, wherever they come from, it's, it's, they're, you know, they're, they're historic and, and for the next generation to see just what, what that form of, of, uh, of warfare was in those days. Deniliquin Men's Shed, impressive. Our third and last shed for this postcard is Neil Thomas's The Great Aussie Beer Shed in Echuca. A 5,000 square foot shed housing over 17,000 beer cans from around the world, including some of the rarest. Neil has been 30 years putting this collection together. Well, my poor old mum passed away a few years ago and she said to me, son, this is now an obsession. <laughs> I also asked Neil, what's his favourite beer? The next one. <laughs> <laughs> so check the beer shed out next time you're in Echuca. Their website is www.greataussiebeershed.com.au. That's it for this postcard. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, Shedders.